This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Almighty God, we gather as witnesses to thy promises, but if we seek thee with all our heart, we will find thee. Be thou amongst us this day. Hear the confessions of our mouths and the yearnings of our hearts. Help us change the narrowness of our vision and the pettiness of our living. Make us new again with thy holy grace. Grant us the maturity to accept thy many gifts in humility and to use them with faithfulness. Grant to us thy spirit that our worship may have integrity and energy, ever witnessing to thy holy presence in our lives. We praise and give thanks to thee, eternal Lord. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write both these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. As we come to the Lord near the start of a new year, let us seek his grace to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom as we confess our sins in penitence and faith. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make your face shine upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light to my path. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A thousand years in God's sight are like a single day. Like an evening that has already gone. Christ is the first and the last. The beginning and the end. Jesus stands at the door and knocks. Lord Jesus, enter our homes, our lives. Thou holdest the key to God's way of justice. Open to us thy kingdom of peace. You crown the year with your goodness. The Lord knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come out like gold. Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, What shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. 
The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. The hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber, because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. We believe in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist. We believe in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world. We believe in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in Christ, let us again claim for ourselves the covenant which God has made with his people and take upon us the yoke of Christ. This means that we are content that he appoint us our place and work, and that he himself be our reward. Christ has many services to be done. Some are easy. Others are difficult. Some bring honour. Others bring reproach. Some are suitable to our natural inclinations and material interests. Others are contrary to both. In some, we may please Christ and please ourselves. In others, we cannot please Christ except by denying ourselves. Yet, the power to do all these things is given to us in Christ, who strengthens us. Therefore, let us make this covenant of God our own. Let us give ourselves to him, trusting in his promises and relying on his grace. I am no longer my own, but thine. Put me to what thou wilt. Rank me with whom thou wilt. Put me to doing. Put me to suffering. Let me be employed for thee or laid aside for thee, exalted for thee or brought low for thee. Let me be full. Let me be empty. Let me have all things. Let me have nothing. I freely and heartily yield all things to thy pleasure and disposal. And now, O glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thou art mine, and I am thine. So be it. In the covenant which I have made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Eternal Lord God, we thank thee for bringing us through the changes of time to the beginning of another year. Forgive us the wrong we have done in the year that is past, and help us to spend the rest of our days to thy honour and glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace, and the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, Give me a light, that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, Go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. Almighty God, we thank thee for the gift of thy holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light upon our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all people in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost. Be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>